13 miles per hour. 811 Steve and Ted on a Wednesday. That means Wednesday with Wagle, Dr. Jason Wagle of Kansas Perio and Dental Implants. And of course, it's on everybody's mind. It's called COVID-19 or the coronavirus. And it could have an effect on your teeth. And with us to talk about that this morning, Dr. Wagle. Uh, good morning, sir. Nice to have you with us. Hey, uh, Ted. Uh, good morning. You know, Steve, actually, this is this doesn't affect your teeth. I want to make sure that that's clear. It, it doesn't, doesn't affect. affect. Okay. It does no, not. it does not. But it can increase the risk that someone you know or love who is over the age of 65 or is immunocompromised could become seriously ill. Yeah. Well, what what, what can we do to prevent? I know there are certain things we already know. What 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 can we do though to to prevent this virus? Yeah. You know, yeah. I think we already know. Wash your hands. Yeah. You've wash heard your hands a lot. Yeah. But you know, the, the the virus is essentially invisible. It travels on water droplets from person from a person's saliva or nasal secretions, just like any other cold or flu. Um, so we have to be careful to wash our hands. But really, it's about cross contamination. If you touch your face or any inanimate object such as your phone or someone else's phone, a countertop, a pen, packages at the store, wash your hands again. Keep social distances. Avoid being within six feet of anyone for more than you know 10 to 15 minutes. And avoid crowds or groups greater than 10 people. If you are over the age of 65 or immunocompromised or have other medical issues such as heart or lung disease, Maybe advisable for you just to stay home. Uh, yeah, and we, that's a good one on the on uh, the the pens. You know, we use a lot of pens here at a radio station, and and we're I was wiping down the surfaces yesterday, and and uh, we thought let's just wipe the pens too because that's a good call. A lot of people are uh, handling all of those pens, so that's a good call. Now, uh, mm-hmm. when you're talking about uh, a, a hand cleaner, the Perel or whatever, what, what what's your take on that? Is that is that effective? Is that good stuff to use? Well, they're saying that she should have about 80% uh, alcohol percentage if it's going to be effective. You know, soap and water is um, very important as well. It, you know, soap and water is ideal. If you can't, don't have access to it, then use hand sanitizer. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, I, I know you're in, probably in the habit of washing your hands quite a bit already, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, you know, Kansas Perio, we are taking some uh, special precautions. The things that we don't really need to do is, you know, we're obviously in the treatment areas, we're already doing the regular stuff because right. we've always followed rigid infection control guidelines at Kansas Perio. Mm-hmm. We're already using, you know, universal precautions and infection control, uh, wiping down surfaces, yeah. you know, protecting our, our employees. Yeah. But in the reception area, you're going to find some changes. Um, we'll see... Uh, Limited patients in the in the in the waiting room uh, to help reduce uh, social um, uh, exposure and re- and increase social distancing. Um, we're asking patients to wash their hands when they walk in. Mm. Uh, we might be taking their temperature when they arrive, and there will be uh, no magazines in the reception area also to avoid that risk of cross contamination. Good information. Thank you for sharing that mm-hmm. with us. All right, thank you. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, it's time to get to series about your smile. It's time to ask your dentist about Kansas Perio. Learn more about their services online at kansasperio.com or call 316-685-2731. See, it's a good, uh, he had a, a lot of information, some information we already knew. But Dr. Wagle also, I was good about how, how is a dentist or a doctor handling that waiting room. Right. I know that I talked to my daughter Stacy last night. Uh, she-